Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn about structs or structures. All right. Now, think of structs as unfilled application form. Okay. So here, you can see there is an application form which is unfilled. You have all these details here which have to be filled. Right now it is unfilled. So structs can be thought of like blank application form. Okay. So let us create a struct. Let us create a struct. We use struct keyword. We use struct keyword to create a struct data type. Okay. So let me create and show it to you. All right. So I'll say S T R U C T. Okay. S T R U C T. And then I need to give a name for the structure and I will say details. Okay. I will say details. So now I have created a struct details type. All right. And inside curly braces, we need to have the details that we want inside the structure. Okay. So I'm going to fill this out and then I'm going to tell you or explain you what the things are. Okay. So I will say int and h, int and h. All right. And I will say double and height, double and height. And here I will say care and gender. All right. Care and gender. Now, this is a structure called as details. And inside this structure, there are three members. Okay. Three members. The variables variables of a structure are called as members all right members and this is like a blank or unfilled application form so here you see we have name correct gender address home and so on telephone email and so on so in this application form in my application form here i have only three fields to be filled one is age one is height one is gender whereas in this photo there are one two three four five six seven eight nine nine fields to be filled okay so i hope you can relate this with the application form now <clears throat> structures are a way to group several related variables into one place okay into one place and as i mentioned before each of the variable in the structure is known as a member of the structure okay member of the structure now i have declared this i have declared this above the or out of the main function okay we need to terminate this using semicolon you need to remember this too all right so we need to terminate this using semicolon now we have created we have created a structure to access the structure we must create a variable of it okay so let me take an example for this i have ravi and i have anita and i have details of ravi here and details of anita here so age height and gender okay so i will create a variable called as Ravi and I will create a variable as Anita. All right. And this has to be done inside the main method. All right. So we use struct keyword inside main method. Struct keyword inside main method followed by the name of the structure. What is the name of our structure here? Let me scroll up. The name of our structure is details. So details okay details and then the name of the structure variable so let me give ravi itself 
ओके रवि ओके रवि सी जनरली हाउ डू वी डिक्लेयर वेरिएबल्स वी से इंट ए करेक्ट इंट ए मीनिंग ए इज ऑफ इंटेजर डेटा टाइप सो कनेक्ट और ट्राई टू सी द सिमिलरिटीज बिटवीन दिस एंड दिस दिस इज वेरिएबल दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरिएबल दिस इज द डेटा टाइप दिस इज द डेटा टाइप ओके स्ट्रक्ट डिटेल्स टाइप so just like we declare a variable we are declaring a variable here all right yes this variable is of struct details type all right yes now i will declare one more variable for anita all right so s t r u c t details details and anita okay anita so this is done now now we can assign values we can assign values to the members of ravi and anita what are the members age height and gender all right so we can assign values now once again think of this as blank application form all right think of this as blank application form blank form all right unfilled form which has three fields to be filled and we will fill those fields with the detail of ravi and anita so here let me go yeah let me scroll up yeah and here we can or we will assign the values to members of ravi so what are the members int double and cat so i will say i will say ravi dot age equal to let me go here 26 26 so this is how this is how we assign values to member we are assigning the value 26 to the member age of this variable correct so we need to use dot operator ravi dot age meaning age of ravi try to read this as age of ravi variable is equal to 26 okay and next what is there height so let us say ravi dot height is equal to 5.11 all right which means that height of ravi is equal to 5.11 and then we have one more field to be filled which is gender so ravi dot gender is equal to what is it it is m okay it is m all right so this has to be this okay you need to type whatever is typed in the struct so age is typed here so age is here height i have typed here because here also i have mentioned height all right yes so i have mentioned the details i have mentioned the details of uh, ravi here so let us print it out i'll say print f okay i'll say print f and i'll say percentage d percentage d and i'll say comma comma and i want to print age of ravi age of ravi all right so let us do that let us run it and see if we get any error so i get 26 so age of ravi age of ravi is 26 all right so next height let us try to print it out i'll say point 2 l lf and let me print height and i get 5.11 okay and percentage c ravi dot gender and i get m all right so this is how we can access we can access the values all right now 
this is done so in the same way in the same way we can assign values for anita too. we have already created a variable called anita and now we can assign values in the same way we have assigned for ravi so all we need to say is anita dot age equal to how much is it 28 correct 28 and anita dot height is equal to 5.4 and anita dot gender is equal to f all right yes okay so now let me copy this let me copy this let me paste it here and here i'll say anita all right so i want to print the gender of ravi and gender of anita so when i run it you can see i get m and f so let me have a new line character here so m and f all right i hope it is clear now what have we done we have created a blank application form we have created a blank application form with three fields in it one for age one for height and one for gender and this application form is called as structure okay structure and we have declared variables we have declared variables of struct details type okay struct details type and we have filled the application form that's all all right if someone comes and asks for an application form you give the unfilled form correct so the person fills and gives it back to you one more person comes and takes the same unfilled application form one more copy of it fills it and gives it back to you correct so same way as many people as may come as they may come you can print this out and give it to them they will fill the details and give it back to you so same way you can declare as many variables as you want and you can store values in it all right store values in it so this is an advantage of struct all right i hope it is clear now we can create struct variables and assign values in a single line so instead of doing all this instead of doing all this we can do it in a single line although it is confusing or it may be confusing for beginners like you all right so here what we have to do is struct details ravi so this is same so here what we need to say is is equal to and then we need to use curly braces okay curly braces and dot h okay dot h equal to 26 so 26 all right 26 and dot height equal to 5.11 and dot gender equal to m all right dot gender equal to m and then i will close the bracket so then this will not be required this will not be required so instead of typing all these instead of typing all these it is done in a single line like this you can do that okay so let me cut this let me cut this and let us see the result and you can see we get the same result all right we get we get the same result now we can do that for anita too let me do it and show it to you instead of having this instead of having this let me say is equal to and inside curly braces dot age equal to 28 and comma dot height equal to 5.4 and a comma dot gender is equal to f okay and then close the curly braces so instead of this instead of this yeah instead of this you can have it like this all right so let us run it and get the same result all right 
so this is how you can <coughs> create a struct variable and assign values in a single line okay now you can also do this you can also do this when you are declaring the structure itself okay when you are declaring the structure itself you can do it so let me have the ravi here let me delete this let me delete this okay and let me delete this also not required for now okay not required so instead of declaring the variable here instead of declaring the variable here 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 you can say ravi comma anita all right here you can say ravi comma anita at the end of it after the curly braces so after you declare it here you can directly assign values to it all right so let me run it you can see i get yum here okay so instead of declaring here we can declare at the end of at the end of the struct declaration all right so i hope this is clear there are more things uh, that needs to be learned in this topic which will cover in the next video all right for now i want you to learn to declare this or define this and then assign values to it all right so if you are finding this difficult think of this as blank application form just like this with one two three fields to be filled so here you have many fields to be filled here you have only three and think of this as fill in the field okay yes so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and thank you for watching